Greetings and salutations, dear substar Princess Aid Chelsea, and welcome back to Corpse Party Book of Shadows. When I last left off, we managed to complete Chapter 3, Encounter, and we got a little bit more into Yus Yui's backstory about the first guy she was crushing on, and basically insinuated that she was marked for death way before she ever took the Sachiko Ever After charm with her students and died there, so... That's an interesting little concept. I don't know if it's actually canon in terms of like the main storyline of the game or not, but there it is. Now we jump into chapter four, Purgatory. Oh boy, I wonder what this is going to entail. Well, we're starting off with somebody we don't even know. I don't recognize the name Sayaka or Sayaka or however the hell you pronounce it, but that's definitely not a familiar name. I wonder if it's with the Byakuden crew? I don't know. Well, I guess we'll find out. But it's definitely not one of the main Kisaragi group. My mind was in a daze. The lights on the ceiling were spinning, moving in and out of one another, alternating between hazy and distinct, and forming spiral patterns in my eyelids. Oh, that must have been fun. Also, it looks like we're in the bunker. Like, the, the shelter area, like, you reach end game, where you've defeat Sachiko, essentially, but... I was being jerked along the ground by my legs like a heavy sack of rocks. I could feel every step he took vibrate across my entire body. Um... Are you... S I don't know who you're talking about. But considering we're in this place, I would assume Yoshikazu, because he is Sachiko's little bitch, essentially. But I couldn't do anything to stop it. I could no longer move of my own accord. I just kept getting dragged, inch by inch, across that filthy floor. Then eventually he stopped and threw me down, and I rolled hard onto my face. Ouch. I have a feeling it is Yoshikazu. I was helpless before him. Wow. Yeah, I'd be panting and whimpering too if I was in that situation. Or screaming my head off, and maybe she just lost the energy to scream at this point. But in Heavenly Host, no one can hear you scream. What was that? Yep, okay, the heavy breathing definitely indicates Yoshikazu. Besides, I don't know how strong the little boy is, the little boy Ryu, the ghost boy, but I can't imagine he's that strong. But who knows? I mean, they the three, the two girls flung Maya at a wall at superhuman speed, so who knows? That piece of chocolate had fallen out of my pocket. I was pretty sure it did anyway. And I wasn't about to let anyone else have it. Give it back, you bastard. I don't think a guy is that interested in chocolate. I'm just saying, what's the big deal about the chocolate? I'm guessing we'll find out. The large man took my crumpled form and roughly flipped me back over by the legs. As if I were nothing more than a doll to him. <sighs> Pretty much. I was facing him from the middle of the hallway as he readied his enormous hammer and looked right into my eyes. Oh dear, he's got the hammer. Was this it? Was I going to be killed now? Please God, no! I was terrified, but not entirely. After all... Who's she? <laughs> Naho? Uh, considering by the sounds and considering what we know of Naho, not really. Okay, so she is connected in some way to Naho, who is, uh, spoilers, pretty much responsible for this entire mess. Oh, she's Sayaka. Oh, Sayaka is Naho's friend. But then what are you doing in a place like this? Oh, wait! That's right. You only- you need two people to enter Heavenly Host. I'm guessing then that Sayaka was dragged into this by Naho to, so she could go find Kabiki. That's what I'm assuming happened. I- I seem to almost remember the name, almost. Although, I think in the actual, like, game, if you find her tag or whatever, uh, you find out 
They, it says that she died due to the darkening, but sounds like she might have died a different way. I guess we'll find out in this chapter. But, yeah, now the name... Now, as soon as you said Naho, I'm like, oh, okay, I do kind of remember that name. I guess they're at a rave. They got glow sticks and everything. Ah, cool. That's fine. I'm sure Naho doesn't go often either. Aw. That's cool. Well, at least we know Naho had at least some bit of semblance of normalcy other than the spiritual stuff and her obsession for Kabiki. Twinkle Girls. This is like an awesome band. Is that a real band? I have no idea what they're singing, but it's catchy. That's cool. Oh, they have Twitter in this world. That's great. <laughs> Hey, there's one bit of English in there. Yeah, it's always interesting with K-pop and J-pop and everything. It's like, little itty bitty bits of English will pop through once in a while. But then again, I think we're not better. I think a few songs will randomly have different languages in there and it's like, do you know what you're saying? My eyes met with Naho's as we both put our hands in the air like, just, not, like we just didn't care. Oh, you could tell the translators were having a fun time with this one. Cute. I thought it was catchy. I don't know what they look like either, so. Ah, It's actually kind of nice to see Naho not being so serious and creepy and supernaturally. And the fact that her eyes don't look like a dead fish. ほら。ほら。ほら。ほら。ほら。ほら。ほら。ほら。ほら。ほら。ほら。ほら。ほら。ほら。ほら。ほら。ほら。ほら。ほら。ほら。ほら。ほら。ほら。ほら。ほら。
Almost exactly like Seika. Sounds like she's got a crush on her best friend, too. <laughs> Butterfall pancakes. You'll be having pancakes at this late. Well, then again, I've had pancakes for dinner, so. Well, pancakes aren't terrible for you. They have some healthy ingredients in it. And she's got milk in hers, so, you know, calcium. Wow, she really likes that towel. Yeah, I kind of noticed she's a bit serious in certain points, so I guess it's kind of nice that she's running loose a little bit. Again, it's like, oh, this is so sweet, and then it's all gonna come crashing down. I'm sure. I'm sure she does too. Yeah, she's almost exactly like Seiko. What the hell? Uh, Corpse Party, what is his obsession with, like, all the girl stuff? It's like, it's nice that you're having some representation of, like, you know, LGBT groups, but at the same time, you're you're kind of pushing it. Yeah, I guess, well, she's got six sets and everything. She's, you know, spiritual. <laughs> <laughs> she got to have fun with you. Wait, seriously? She does all that? Voice acting soap operas and online radio? Damn. That girl's talented. And it's all gonna go to waste because she's gonna die in Heavenly Host. I mean, it's not like a spoiler at this point. We know she dies. I mean, we saw her with Yoshikazu in before. It's safe to assume she dies. Ghost hunts. Oh, yeah, that's that's Naho, yes. Oh, she's gonna be in a movie. Cool. I'm sure she would be great in it, considering her personality. What's wrong with French food? I'm assuming a friend told you or something? Uh, Taguchi. Which, if you didn't remember, he is the camera guy from the first game. Who had Brock eyes and a beanie. And basically ran around screaming the whole time and then died by hiding in a closet. <sighs> That's what he does, I guess. Eh. He his his purpose in life is to document everything. Including horrible deaths in a Cursed school. He did his job well to the end. Yeah, good idea. How about talking about your food that's not here yet? Oh. Uh, Oh, let me guess. You're gonna be like, could you come on, please? Well, she does have an obsession with the supernatural, so yes. 
リスナーからの怖い話のお便りに専門家のコメントをつけてくれたらと思うのうんうーん She doesn't sound overtly interested but she might go Well you're my bestest friend ever Sure なほちゃんは机に頭を乗せたまましばらく考え込んでしまった何か心配事でもあるのかなけれど私は今一瞬この子の目がキラッとしたのを見逃さない<笑> She knows her girlfriend well. ねお願いなかおし、OK、でしょ Actually, this is kind of similar in sense, isn't it? Because、uh, although Naomi and Seiko are like, spiritually connected, you know, Seiko's got that big crush on Naomi, but Naomi's got a big crush on Satoshi. And in this scenario, Sayaka clearly has a crush on Naho, but Naho has a thing for Kabiki. Funny how these things just kind of go around. Uchi no listener san tachi mo, watashi tachi no kanke shi te ru kara, Naho tan ma da te meel ga shi ochu ki te ru shi, choo yoroko nde kure ru to omo unda yo ne. Except they'd probably be demanding her every single second as soon as you do that. I see how these collabs work. You do one little collab with them and suddenly their fans and the other person are just constantly spamming the other one like, when are you gonna have so and so back on? 何より、私がナホタンと一緒にラジオをやってみたいの。ニャムニャム。わし。あ、ニャムニャムした。この子興味を示したわ。あとはカリカリで釣れば、きっと飛びつくわ。ほら。わし。What is going on now? Hora, 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 hora! Bunyao! I think I entered another weird part of Japan. Tamani Naho chan wa neko ni. Watashi wa kainushi san ni bakeru. Yeah. Okay. My mind have instantly flashed to Momo from Honey Pop. I don't know why. She doesn't actually eat the cat food, does she? Do you go to Nanda de? Janakte, Hirufeno no cafe or go to Sosur no de do? Well, bribery would work for a cat, wouldn't it? And dogs. Now, Jan no Kaoga Pata, Karukunaru. They have an unusual relationship. It's adorable and disturbing at the same time. Okay, please. Please stop. <laughs> Maybe it's a friendly hiss. Cats do that, right? Well, probably as soon as your dessert comes in, that'll be a different story. Yeah, but you're her best friend, so. Very interesting. Good for you. You know, the, the waitress who was probably serving them is probably thinking incredibly odd of these two. Like, why is the one girl acting like a cat? That's fair enough, I guess. うん。さやかも出さなきゃだよ、きっと。次、学校行ったら言われるよ。いや、that's always the way, isn't it? うわ、マジか。まあいいや。レポート
いよいよってキビキ先生の本持ってく読みたいって言ってたよねどうせ帰り道だしあうん借りる借りる OK she's talking about her senpai so おっすおっす帰り道ちょうど私の家に向かう道に奈穂ちゃんが住んでるというか居候してる作家のキビキ先生のお屋敷がある huh. So she lives with the guy, and his, I'm assuming Taguchi lives there too. Interesting. I guess that makes sense. 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 Yeah, study under Gibiki. If you know what I mean, nudge, nudge, wink, wink, say no more. <laughs> okay, I'm good. Sensei, ただいま Hi, Kibiki. I still like that little stripe in your hair. Hi! Hmm? You know, eerily, they almost kind of look like they could be siblings. With the. The hairstyle and hair color, but we know better. <laughs> yeah, I think he's already taken. Or at least your your best friend will murder for him. Literally. <laughs> キビキですナホ君と仲良くしてくれてありがとういつも君の話を聞いていますよ Well that's good Cause she probably talks about you a lot too 嬉しいです私もナホちゃんからキビキ先生のことはいっぱい聞かせていただいています Yeah see <笑>きっと私の失敗談ばかりじゃないかいねえそんなとんでもないせっかくだからお茶でも飲んでいかない先生がね超美味しいセカンドフラッシュのダージリンを買ってきてくれたの Yeah, it's like really late for you guys You think you'd want to go home and sleep or something え、えー、っと I mean Sayaka of course Because she's already technically home 急な振りにオロオロする夜遅いし先生に迷惑じゃないかないいですか先生もちろんただお家の方が心配されるから hey, host, no、ありがとうございますじゃあ少しだけお邪魔しますゆっくりしていきなさい That's nice of you and then he just off and leaves こりゃなほちゃんが夢中になるのもわかるよ<laughs> yeah. さあ、奥へ行きましょう。入って。うん。先生の前だと、なほちゃんはいつものクールなキャラに戻っちゃう。家に電話を入れた私は、挙動不審になりながらリビングに通された。Parents must be pretty uh, reasonable, but then again, I guess if she's doing all this stuff, they kind of expect her to be out late at times. ゆったりとしたリビングは、和風なイメージと。ベトナム系のアジアン雑貨や家具が見事に融合して独特の落ち着いた雰囲気を醸し出していた。Well, that's nice to know. It looks pretty. 素敵。I like the fact that the TV almost kind of looks like it's in a fireplace. 荷物はその辺に置いてください。自由にくつろいでね。では私はダージリンを入れてくるよ。Sure. すみません。I figured. At least he's being hospitable considering it was last minute. Naho ちゃんに誘われて、いくらするのかわからない高級そうなソファーに、私は緊張しながら腰掛けた。And then it squeaks, and it's like, oh, that was the couch, it wasn't me. Oh no, it's the 
couch from Phantasmagoria, even though technically that was a bed. Oh, okay. For a I was like, okay, she's sitting down, and then it's like, oh, I gotta pee. <laughs> but no, this is a different girl. Okay. Uh, mere moments later, though, the couch ate her and she ended up in Heavenly House. The end. I don't know. What the heck? Oh, that's a little she walked in on him, didn't she? Oops. Yeah, I'm surprised her parents are okay with her living with two guys. Particularly one who's at least some years older than her. Yeah. I guess you need more than one bathroom. <laughs> and he's just like, all oh, those two. Uh, I love them both. Well, that's nice. <laughs> and Taguchi just kind of in the background, like, <laughs> yeah, this is awkward. ふふふ。深みのある味と香り。紅茶なんてどれも同じだと思ってました。うちにはティーパックのものしかなくて。ね。バックのものも最近はいい味がするよね。美味しい。<laughs> <laughs> ただ、私はやはりこれが一番飲み慣れていて好きなんだ。Oh, so he doesn't live there. He just hangs out there. Fair enough. I still don't know if I'd be okay though with the fact that he, she's just living with this guy by herself. Even if he is charming, that doesn't necessarily mean anything. Yeah. Chances are she beats him up. They still have videos back then? Cool, I guess. Just funny considering they still have, they have Twitter. Uh, uh oh, jeez. No, this is this entire game sometimes. You missed the first chapter. じゃあ、先生。テクノブレイク。なほちゃんがタグチさんに向かって光線を出している。なんかウルトラマンみたいな構えになってるけど。That's an interesting way to describe it. Then again, Sayaka seems kind of out there. あ、なほちゃんもね。明日は学校行くから来てもいません。そうなんだ。<laughs> I guess even he knows you skipped off. 29 years of substantial likes. Thanks. That's great. Yes, she is. <laughs> He's just like, this is my life now. では、私もそろそろお会いとましますごちそうさまでしたそうかい。おもてなしもできなくてすまなかったねえ、she <笑> By the way, what the heck did you guys talk about through that whole thing? It just seems like you were talking about tea. Hibiki-sensei's house, Naho-chan was sent to the house. It was a 
ほてった方に気持ちいい。That's nice. 今日一日の楽しかった思い出を振り返って、ついでに私はカバンに持っていたトゥインクルの CD を一枚貸して。Oh, that's sweet. 私たちはもう一度ハグし合ってから別れたの。Oh, so you weren't far from here. That's good. That makes it a little bit easier, I guess. ありがとう。Because, uh, <laughs> otherwise, if she had to walk really long, I think her parents would be a little less okay with her just staying late at someone's house that she doesn't quite know, even if a friend is there. You found me. 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 <laughs> oh, you have no idea.